to get me some, not hammering, but just get me some sort of uh, energy in and then uh, just make sure my gas rate on the bike was a little bit extra strong so I had a bit more calories out there. Um, and yeah, I just uh, didn't know if I was going to hold it because they were definitely catching me on the way out, but uh, I decided to just uh, fully commit on the bike and uh, yeah, just went 100% on the way back and I managed to run well off that picture. Yeah, and of course on the way out you lost some time on the bike so that two minute lead came to one minute 30 we saw it 40 k's but then you extended it to an almost three minute lead when you hit the run leg so on the way back into town what was going through the head what's the mantra to push you to that next level yeah oh, i was singing a few songs <laughs> uh, a few country songs yeah, <laughs> yeah just get the mood uh, no i did definitely place myself uh, I've done it last year, that was my first ever long distance race, so I don't really know what to expect. And uh, well, last year I did a, probably five or six uh, long course races, and you get pretty good at, uh, pretty good at uh, knowing your, your body and uh, what pace to hold throughout the race. And uh, yeah, I pace on the way out, and you, uh, if I can just put my head down and uh, put it all in, I can probably follow them off. And, uh, Hopefully, you never know, but hopefully you run the next day. And of course, you take the run then. Take us through the support. We, I love this race because the, the Gandhi crowd gets behind it. They're out there at the aid station. They're handing you ice. Like, I've never seen so much support at an event before and so much community support. Take us through what was it like on the run. Of course, you're flying, of course, but everyone's cheering you on, yelling out to you. How was it? Yeah, well... I still think uh, these aid stations are some of the best around the world. I know um, people enjoy races, but uh, I know people also enjoy the aid stations. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my, my brother actually did this race mainly because I said the aid stations were so good, really good. So, uh, yeah, um, uh, there was a great course. Everyone was cheering on, and uh, these country races, they're like nowhere else in the world. And it's just such a chill atmosphere, and... Uh, yeah, everyone just gets behind you, all the athletes as well. It's, uh, yeah, one of, one of my favourite, honestly one of my favourite events uh, on the account, for sure. And of course, you just started your career, you're pretty pretty new to it all, you're saying you've just done one season of long course racing. You, you came second at the Noosa Triathlon in standard distance race only last year. You've got the speed, Aaron Royal only just beat you by three to six seconds there. What's coming up for Max Newman? Where are we going to see your name next? Yeah, um... <laughs> Yeah, well, you never know. Uh, you never know what. I wasn't actually going to race this. I was going. I was focused, going to focus on the short stuff this year, but I couldn't. Couldn't resist not coming here. So um, yeah, after Noosa, I really, really thought uh, I should maybe possibly give give it a give it a crap and just see what I can do for the next eighteen months in the shorter stuff. But um, but these longer ones, this they I honestly think they make you a much better athlete all around. It's just such a mental battle, it makes you strong, and uh, I think people are missing out on something not covered these races. Awesome, mate. I'm going to let you recover. We'll catch you at the podium later when we do award you that top step. But Max Newman, ladies and gentlemen, give him a big round of applause.